Hi friends, I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be comparing a high quality scroll saw with a low quality scroll saw. And I hope that by doing so, this will help you to answer the question of which scroll saw you should buy. So I'm sure you're here maybe because you have an interest in maybe starting to learn how to scroll and you just don't know where to start. You don't know what scroll saw to buy. So I hope through comparing these two uh, different quality scroll saws, you'll be able to have a better idea of which one you want to get. Um, but before I do compare it, there are two things I strongly suggest that you think about first. And so number one is what's the purpose that you have in purchasing a scroll saw? And number two is what is your budget or how much are you willing to spend? So for number one, if you just want to purchase one just to do for fun and to just pull it out whenever you want to do a fun project and your budget is low, then maybe a lower quality scroll saw is best for you. Um, some examples of a low quality scroll saw would be like the Win, the RYOBI, Central Machinery, there's more. But if you want to purchase a scroll saw because you want to make and possibly sell and turn it into your own business, then I suggest that you invest in a higher quality scroll saw because it's going to be something that is going to last you a long time and it's very durable. So. That's my suggestion. Some examples um, off the top of my head of a high quality scroll saw would be the Pegasus, number one. That's what we're gonna look at today. And also the DeWalt, um, the Excalibur. Those are just a few to name. Um, but both high and low quality scroll saws have very similar um, features about them. So we're gonna take a look at the differences and hopefully this will help you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go over is the blade changing features on the, the lower quality scroll saw. So the win uh, in this example today, it is able to take the two types of scroll, the two types of uh, blades there are out there, which are pinned blades, which have a little pin at the top and bottom and the pinless blades, which are just straight and they don't have a pin. So low quality scroll saws usually can take both and the high quality scroll saws usually can only do one, which is the pinless blade. Um, now let me tell you, both work obviously, but the pin, pinned blades, they, they're they harder to work with like in terms of doing sharp turns. Usually people who are more professional with scrolling, they don't usually use pinned blades. Um, but it will do the job, but uh, it's just harder to work with. And the pinless blade, it's just, it works a lot better. So I'm gonna show you guys on the wind scroll saw how to put these on. And I'm just going to say it takes a lot longer to put on the pinless blade, which is usually made more for professional scrolling compared to the pin blade. It's really fast to put this one on. All right, so you like my decorated wind scroll saw with spots all over. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put the pinned blade on first. And I'm just gonna go as quick as I can. The purpose of this is just to show you guys the difference in how long it takes to put both on. Um, I'm gonna do a separate tutorial in more detail of how to put the blades on. First, you're gonna remove this as I did. With the pinned blade, you're going to attach it on the bottom. Push this down, attach it on the top. So in the back, you tighten the blade. And it's done. That was quick. Now, if you want to put a pinless blade, that takes a little bit longer, but I'm gonna show you how real quick. Um, I already have it attached, but I'm actually going to show you how to take it off and put it on, okay? That is how you attach a pinless blade on the win. Now, if you wanna switch blades, which you have to do every once in a while, you have to do the whole process again. And now we're gonna look at the Pegasus and see how to put the pinless blade on that. That one only does take pinless blades. Okay, so now we're at the Pegasus scroll saw. So I'm gonna show you how to take off and put on a pinless blade. And 
and that's it. So quick. That's why I love this. <laughs> so another difference between the win and the Pegasus scroll saw is the throat depthness. So I'm gonna turn you right there. The throat depthness is basically the space between the blade and the end of the neck over here. So for the win, this has a throat depthness of 16 inches, and for the Pegasus has a throat depthness of 21 inches. The biggest difference is the Pegasus scroll saw, or at least the one that I have, which is 21 inches, I'm able to create larger signs or pieces compared to the win. However, it's not impossible to create large pieces on a, a scroll saw that has a depthness of 16 inches. It's not impossible, but it's just a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to use this as an example. If I wanted to cut a name, this from here to here, and I went to my scroll saw, oh my gosh, sorry about the dogs. <laughs> if I went to my scroll saw and I cut, it will, it will eventually stop right here, right? So what about here? It makes it difficult. I'm gonna to have to turn it, and I could turn it and start cutting it from this side, but um, it just is a little bit more difficult with a shorter throat deafness if you plan to make large signs. So that's something else to consider. Okay, so a couple of other main differences is the table tilt, which I will show you on both, as well as the speed and how loud each one is. So first the table tilt. So you can see that the wind will tilt up to 45 degrees on one side. The table itself tilts to the left 45 degrees. So I never use this feature, but maybe you might. And so that's something to consider. It will just go one side to the left up to 45 degrees. Okay, so for the Pegasus, you are able to tilt the table 45 degrees one way and 45 degrees the other way. However, the table itself is not the one that is tilting, it's actually the neck. That's the main difference. The Pegasus can go both sides. We'll also compare how loud each one is. So I'm going to turn this on and then turn the speed up. And then I'm also going to try to cut this. I have a pin blade in right now. This is low. how loud it was it is louder than the pegasus this by the way is about maybe three quarters of an inch thick so i think it even cuts even more um but yeah let's go take a look at the pegasus okay so for the pegasus the on button is up here and the speed control is up here let's turn it on this is at the lowest speed That is the highest. Beautiful. It cuts so easily. <laughs> um, I'll have a separate video on blades that I use, but this blade that I use right now was a pin list blade and it is from Bear Wood Company. These are awesome. But anyways, we heard the sound. Also, in regards to the thickness, I've cut up to, I think it was like two inches in hardwood on this thing. So this can cut very thick wood. Okay, one thing I totally forgot to mention is the neck for the Pegasus, it actually raises up and it stays there. So that's perfect when you need to change a blade. You're working right here. Once your blade is in on the bottom, you bring this down and tighten it. So 
that's another cool feature so that is it i covered at least the main differences from what i've experienced and also what i've learned now we just use the wind and the pigus as an example but generally lower and higher quality squirrel saws have similar features so it's just up to you to do your research and figure out what squirrel saw works best for you there is way more squirrel saws out there rather than just the win and the pegas. So just do your research, make sure you read the descriptions and you know what your squirrel saw comes with. My experience going from the win to the pegas squirrel saw, I think one of the first huge differences that I saw was the weight. The pegas just weighed so much more, but I could just tell it was so much more durable. The wind here is like really light, so that also kind of tells you something. Another huge thing that I really actually didn't like about the wind scroll saw was just how long it took me to change the blades. I use pinless blades, so with the wind, like we learned, I would just always have to go back and forth changing the blades using these two attachments. And it just took so long and it just prolonged a lot of my projects. So when I got the Pegas, I was so happy with just how quick it was to change the blades. Um, but I don't want to say that the win is a bad squirrel saw. It works <laughs> and you're able to still create. You really can. If you look at like the first half of my Instagram, most of those signs that I made were using the wind scroll saw. So it's possible there's just, you know, certain things that you may have to deal with. But if you are considering and maybe buying the Pegas scroll saw, I do have a discount code and I will put it in the description and might as well use that and save some money. <laughs> um, I will also type the website of where you can purchase the Pegas scroll saw. Um, yeah, but I really hope that this video was helpful and that you have more of an idea of what you want to get now. Um, now it's just up to you to do your research and I really hope that you find a scroll saw that is perfect for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot and please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.